Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, Moravian Pastor Rupert Clark has been sentenced to eight years in prison on two counts of having sexual intercourse with a person under the age of 16 years old. The sentences are to run at the same time, which means Clark will only serve eight years in prison. The complainants are both sisters. Clark was sentenced in the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court almost four months after he pleaded guilty to the crimes. Minister of Finance Audley Shaw will give details on how the 2018-2019 budget will be financed when he opens the budget debate on Thursday. The government intends to spend $773.6 billion during the fiscal year which begins on April 1. In January, Mr. Shaw stated that no new taxes will be included in the new budget. He said revenue inflows have been doing fairly well this financial year, and with this trajectory, it is not the government's plan to introduce a new tax package. In the meantime, opposition spokesman on finance Mark Golding will make his first contribution to the budget debate on March 13. The debate will continue on March 15 with the leader of opposition, Dr. Peter Phillips. He will be followed by Prime Minister Andrew Holness on March 20. Then, then the Finance Minister will, choose the, will close the debate rather on March 21. The public is supporting the government's decision to move beyond education campaigns to take in action on obesity, including support for a sugary drinks tax. Dr. Christopher Tufton, Health Minister, in reporting on findings from Heart Foundation on, of Jamaica's Obesity Prevention Public Opinion Survey, indicated that 64% of respondents supported a tax on sugary drinks. During a meeting with officials of the Finance Ministry on on Wednesday, the Central Executive of the Police Federation reiterated that it will not sign a four-year wage contract. The COPS also rejected the offer of a 16% increase. The Police Federation submitted a counter-proposal, which the Ministry will review and arrange another meeting. The government recently submitted its wage offer, which did not include an increase in allowance for the COPS. Crime Stop has revealed that it has received tips which led to 20 arrests for a variety of crimes including shooting with intent, lottery scamming, housebreaking, murder, as well as possession of illegal firearms. Crime Stop says it has received 206 tips since the start of 2018, of which 186 were actionable pieces of information. The tips resulted in the seizure of 10 illegal 10 illegal firearms, and 58 rounds of ammunition. Seven persons were arrested in connection with some of the firearms. The Jamaica Urban Transit Company, JUTC, has signed a partnership deal with Growth Tech Limited for the provision of Wi-Fi connectivity on approximately 450 of its buses. According to JUTC's Managing Director, Paul Abrahams, the initiative will allow its passengers using smartphones to have access to basic internet connection at no cost to either the passengers, the Ministry of Transport and Mining, or the government which owns the bus company. Growth Tech's Chief Executive Officer Neil Lawrence says this program should take effect by mid-year in the Kingston metropol metropolitan area and will be fully rolled out by December. Prime Minister Andrew Holness voiced his concerns about rising hunger in the Caribbean. During his keynote address at the official opening of the FAO Regional Conference for Latin America and the Caribbean, he says a core component of improving the well-being and quality of life of citizens in the region is food security. He noted that for the first time in two decades, hunger is on the rise in the region. The conference will continue on Thursday at the Montego Bay Convention Center in St. James. Thursday is International Women's Day under the theme, hashtag Press for Progress, a push for gender parity worldwide. However, the Reverend Devon Dick has asserted that women's rights are under threat in Jamaica, where boards such as the Police Service Commission, PSC, comprise solely of men. The government has recently appointed new all-male five-member commission chaired by Port Authority of Jamaica President Professor Gordon Shirley. He says it is unbelievable that the best five persons for the job are all males. 
He questions if not one woman in Jamaica is qualified, prepared, and fit to be on the PSC. In international news, the demands of U.S. President Donald Trump to have tariffs be slapped on steel and aluminum imports has spooked markets, prompted his chief economist's resignation, rattled major U.S. allies, and widened a rift with establishment Republicans. Nevertheless, he signaled on Thursday that that he was intent on moving forward, despite lingering legal questions and steep resistance from opponents. The move was widely expected to set off a trade battle that Trump insists the U.S. can win. However, even some of his closest advisors worry that this could seriously damage a growing American economy. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. Pleasant viewing.